Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route and T-shoot practice exam and lab for you. And uh, one of my favorite quotes of all time, and it does kind of relate to what we're talking about here. And I can't put the whole thing up on the whiteboard or show it because then I'll have to pay royalties. So that's your first homework assignment if you don't know where that comes from. Secondly, uh, I'm a little embarrassed I have never asked the question that I'm going to put in today's practice exam because I've run into it once or twice over the years in lab environments. Uh, and it can put a bit of a chill down your spine. So we're going to talk about that too, because very few of us have seen every single router message or switch message, debug output, everything like that. But even if you haven't seen it before, there's always going to be some information in there that can help you out with figuring out what's going on. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm going to read this one too. Uh, this particular message. We're just starting an OSPF config and you get a message with a little timestamp. It says OSPF4 Nortrid. OSPF1 Process 1 cannot start. And like I said, that'll send a chill down your spine because you're just starting a little config probably in your lab and you're thinking, what do you mean it can't start? What's wrong with the router? Because that sounds pretty serious. What's the situation there? What do we need to do to fix it? And the reason I'm showing it to you on the whiteboard first is that when I show it to you on the live equipment in just a moment, uh, it'll be kind of self-explanatory, but I want to talk about that with you as well. Let's go ahead and bring up the live equipment here. And I'm going to just start an OSPF config. And immediately I get that message. And there's some more info here, and I'll scroll over so you can see the rest of it. I do use a larger font here. Uh, but the one thing I want to mention about this again, there's always some kind of hint here at the very beginning about what's going on. If you get a message that you haven't seen before, join the club. I mean, I still get them on occasion. I've been doing this for a while. But if you just remain calm, and notice I keep coming back to that, uh, and just look at it and say, you know, okay, what exactly is going on here? Because a lot of the times, the router or the switch is going to tell you what's going on. You just have to listen. And what it's telling us the rest of the way here, there must be at least one up IP interface for OSPF to use as what? The router ID. All this means, and of course, NORTRID is kind of short for, you know, no router RID. And the problem is, especially in a lab environment, you might do a write erase like I do sometimes. I'll, I'll erase the configs and then I'll walk away. And then I'll come back and put my lab commands on, and then I just start. Well, if you don't have an IP address on this router, and that's exactly the situation here. I can scroll up and show you. I don't even have a loop back on here. I haven't done anything except a couple of basic lab commands. So when I just jump in and say, okay, you know, I'll put my frame relay network in OSPF and get this lab started, you get this. It's like, what do you mean? You know, it's the first time I saw that, I thought there was serious damage to the router, right? You know, like the memory had gotten corrupted. Oh, OSPF can't even start. But again, just remaining calm, read the rest of that message, and it's going to tell you, you got to have at least one up interface to even start OSPF. That is your route and T-shoot tip for the day. Make sure to join me out on Twitter. I have some great conversations out there. Love to hear from you out there, as well as on YouTube, our blog, and Facebook. And along with our website getting an absolute total refresh this summer, we are also going to be giving away plenty of free Kindle books for the CCNA, CCNP, and the new CCNA security exam. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your certification success story.